But we welcome Amy in because she is one of the honorees, one of 10 honorees for Dessert Before Dinner. That is the annual gala that the Girl Scouts put on in September. It'll be September 15th. You have been designated the Innovator Badge, and it is well-deserved, my friend. You and your husband have done so much in our community. You are a pharmacist by trade, yeah. but you've been able to parlay that into essentially affordable health care, affordable medications for people in our community. Give people the Reader's Digest version about how you guys were able to bring those prescription drug prices down. Um, well, my husband founded a company back in, in 1994, and, and essentially what we did were uh, negotiated rates with uh, the pharmaceutical companies to try to keep prescription prices down, uh, negotiated rates with the, the uh, phar pharmacies themselves to help make prescription drugs you know, more affordable to people, educated physicians on what the most cost-effective drugs were for patients, and, uh, and build a company that uh, was very successful and proud of. Um, in as you community. should be and that has innovation written all over it because to be able to say in the same sentence that you help bring prescription drug prices down i'm not sure that's uttered very often <laughs> in america much less in our community so that just gives people an example of doing stuff behind the scenes that maybe people wouldn't realize but you're also heavily involved in numerous charities in our community grant to gift autism yes. i know that you are a board member and that yes. does tremendous things for kids in our community and beyond. And I, I love Girl Scouts that you had so many great things to say when we kind of did a pre-interview yeah. on the golf course with your mini me, Vivian, <laughs> who um, a lot of the Girl Scouts will actually be in attendance September 15th and it's dessertbeforedinner.org as you see pictures of events from years before. This is the 10th anniversary and so 10 honorees as a result, other tremendous women like Amy in the mix. We've been talking about Penn Jillette's wife, Emily, also being one of the um, women being honored at this event and why do you think in the year 2018 Girl Scouts is still such a relevant organization today? Well I think with uh, the movements that are going on I, I, I think it's so much more than what it used to be you know just selling cookies door to door. Right. Um, I think it's it's evolved into something that promotes uh, women and young girls growing into women that can pretty much empower them to do anything that they want. And that's what I see the Girl Scouts now uh, focusing on. And I think it's uh, amazing um, to have this organization around and have these amazing young girls that can see that they can do anything um, that they want to do when they grow up. And I love still that there are all these girls together because the Boy Scouts lately has been trying to do a big, big push to recruit the girls. Yes. But I think there's something to be said about just fostering these relationships with other, not just women when you're adults, but girls when you were a Girl Scout when you were a kid back in the day. I and was. a lot of the things you learned are still a part of your daily practice here as a, a, a mom and a wife and everything else. Yes, I was a brownie and a Girl Scout. <laughs> I love <laughs> I'm gonna call them daisies yes. now, but, <laughs> but I, I think that taught uh, a lot. Um, you know, when you're young at that age, and it teaches you, um, you know, uh, sportsmanship and uh, a lot of um, good things as far as um, being kind to other people, and that's a, a big part of it. It's so important, and then you're able to parlay that not only into just your life, um, your daily life in your community, but you also are the mom of a daughter who happens to be, and her, your, her daughter has been featured on this very program, <laughs> Anna Haygood. She is in the modeling industry, and yeah. she is an international model, she and is. she is yeah. a young woman and on her own, and so things that you learned as a kid, as an adult, going through the whole like you know corporate ladder kind of a thing that you're able to pass onto her when she's maybe by herself in an, a situation, things that you've kind of learned in your past, you can pass on to her as well. Definitely, definitely. That uh, that industry is very tough, as you know, and there have been a lot of uh, not great things coming out of um, just the entertainment industry and oh, the modeling the industry. Me the Me Too movement is huge. and. I hope that my daughter has learned uh, the skills to be able to uh, cope with all of that. Absolutely. And I, I think that's part of it. So whether it's on a runway or a part of STEAM as far as yes. science and technology and math that we're really focusing on with Girl Scouts, it's all under the same umbrella and it's all really empowering women in our community and you're a big part of that. And Thin Mints are the dessert, everybody. So come one, come all. I'll also get on social media and tweet out the link, but dessert before dinner, it'll be at Caesars Palace on September 15th, and it's dessertbeforedinner.org where it gives you a direct link, and I will be tweeting that out in moments. Amy Hooks, thank you for coming in. Thanks for Well-deserved honoree, and we'll be featuring more honorees as we get closer to September.